the chance for pursuing the American dream, the chance of being successful in life, increasingly requires uh, a level of education that is out of the reach for too many children in our country. If you have robust accountability, if you, have, uh, if you empower parents with choices that otherwise they would not have, all schools get better. If you see what's happening in Louisiana with rising student achievement now being the norm rather than the exception, and you see the fact that they have perhaps the most open system in the United States, thanks to his leadership and the Louisiana legislature, it may defy what the unions think and what the politicians think, but it is a reality, and it is data-driven, data-based. There is rising student achievement in Louisiana across the board because parents are, be are given this choice. We need to transform our education systems state by state to assure that more than just 25 to 30 percent of our kids are college or career ready for them to be successful in life. For us to validate the American dream, we need to make sure that this system is transformed to meet the needs of the 21st century families. You know, I'm tired, I'm frustrated by people that tell us children should just wait, that we're making incremental progress. The reality is our children only grow up once. They only have one chance to get a great education. I simply want the same opportunity for every family and every child in Louisiana and in America to have the chance to get a great education. I think it's hypocritical to tell these parents, these children, they shouldn't be allowed to go to great schools. And when you really think about it, this is really about the American dream. Every parent wants their children to have more opportunities than we inherited from our parents. It starts with a great education. We're going to fight. We're going to go every step of the way to make sure that these children have the chance to get a great education. I repeat my invitation to the President and the Attorney General. They need to drop this lawsuit. At the very least, they need to come to Louisiana, meet face to face with these moms and their kids, these moms and dads and their kids, and explain to them why the Obama administration, why this Department of Justice don't think that these children deserve a great education. This is cynical, immoral, hypocritical. They need to drop this lawsuit and instead work with us to improve educational opportunities for kids, not only in Louisiana, but all over America, who are today trapped in failing schools. I really believe part of what makes America exceptional is that the circumstances of your birth don't determine your outcome as an adult. The reason I'm so passionate about this, my dad's one in nine. First and only one that got past the fifth grade. He and my mom came to Louisiana over 40 years ago. She was pregnant with me. They didn't know anybody, but they had the confidence if you worked hard, you got a great education, there was no limit on what you could accomplish in this great country. I'm the beneficiary of their vision, their dedication of the American dream. I got a great education. I had the ability. I had great teachers. I had the ability. I graduated from public schools in Louisiana. I want my children and grandchildren to have those same opportunities. I want every child in Louisiana to have that opportunity. Instead of bureaucrats in Baton Rouge or Washington, D.C. making this decision, empower the parents. And when that happens, the public schools get better. When that happens, your, your, your charter schools get better. The private schools get better. Competition is a great thing. In America, we embrace choice and competition in almost every aspect of our lives. Why not have choice and competition in education as well? If we're serious about every child living up to their full potential uh, of getting better paying jobs, of being productive members of society, we've got to give them a great education. We're talking about opportunity, access to opportunity for kids who have been stuck, mired in poverty for far too long. The easiest way for us to create a system that is child-centric, that focuses first and foremost on the outcome of the student, is to make sure that the resources to provide the opportunity that America should give to every single individual happens by funding the student. Where the student goes, the money should follow. When that happens, I believe that the American dream becomes alive, it becomes wealth, and it's healthy for the average person, no matter where they start. Because of the voucher program, 8,000 students, 91% of whom are minority students, will have a better chance to experience the fullness of the American dream. I think about the fact that 93% of the parents of these students are excited and pleased and, and, and about the opportunity being presented to them through the voucher program. Should we wait another decade or two so that the national system of education can create a national board for education and dictate how states should do what it is that they should do to improve the outcome of their students? Or should we drill down far enough so that we can make sure that those students today who are trapped in failing schools have an opportunity to experience their full potential by giving their parents more choices? Someone once said that when the parents have choices, the kids have a chance.